So all right, today's little rehab session is on T's and Y's to help you with postural strength to stop you rolling forward to get that little bit of better posture when you are sitting or standing with your shoulders and your shoulder blades. Now I'm going to teach you how to do it correctly because I see this done incorrectly a lot of the time and we're going to make sure you're doing it right and getting the right muscles working without the wrong ones doing all the work. So we're going to use Claire today and I'll show you what I mean. Now a T, you do this in a deadlift position. So Claire, if you go into a deadlift position for me. So what you want to do is to start in that position which is like that hip hinge foundation type set position where they've got a little bit of knee bend, they're using a posterior chain hold through here, making sure that lower back is in neutral. Now what she wants to do is make sure that when she raises her arms out, she's doing retraction. So I'll show you how to do it wrong first and then we'll show you how to do it right. So most people, if you go out into a T for me, just do horizontal extension at the shoulder. So they're just doing sort of delt, rear delt work and they're not really doing anything going on here. They're not doing any retraction. So what she needs to work on is retract through here first, okay, not seconds. So in, before she's even raises her arms, she's got to pull her shoulder blades back together at that point there, okay? So she's retracting as much as she can. The other thing she's got to do is make sure she doesn't use her upper traps. So if you relax again for me, Claire. So if she uses upper traps too much, when she pulls backwards, she's going to come up, which we don't want, because that's not going to help your posture when you're sitting. So what she's trying to think about using is her lower traps, her rhomboids, and her mid traps. And if you use those all together, you'll get a nice retraction backwards without elevation. Because remember, rhomboids actually do a bit of elevation because they go upwards. So if you're just thinking about rhomboids and traps, you're going to pull upwards when you pull back, which is not going to work, all right? So coming down, think about when you, before you even raise your arms, she retracts backwards and down. Think about coming down into a V, almost to your mid-back. Once she's got that, then she needs to go outwards and as she comes outwards, she needs to go backwards a little bit and rotate her thumbs laterally. Okay, so external rotation with the thumbs, which will give her the external rotation in the shoulder. So when she comes backwards like this, she's pulling backwards down like that, which maintains that retraction down here. It also gets her rear delt more than her mid delt, which is what you want. And also it gets her a little bit of external rotation, which is like your infraspinatus and teres minor, getting those muscles working. So they're all part of that postural positioning. So when she's standing, everything's sort of activated, not just one or two things, okay? She's trying to work really hard on that. So just to recap on that, she's trying to go into a deadlift position. Now make, make sure what tends to happen is you get a bit fatigued, so you stand and start standing upright. So make sure you're down in a decent position here without curving through here too much. And then when she pulls backwards, she pulls down and back and really retracts, then extends horizontally and backwards and externally rotates like that. Now you notice she is using her upper traps, but she's using it evenly through here, which is what you want. So that's your T's.